My name is Dr. Yap Ban Ha, and today we are going to solve a problem from Dr. Yap Ban Ha's problem box. Let's take a look at one of those problems. In fact, this problem has made its way into one of the textbooks that I have written, Think Mathematics. This problem is about numbers, whole numbers, we call them. And we are interested in numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We call such numbers consecutive numbers. This problem is about any five consecutive numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Any five, really. And what we want to do is to arrange the five numbers in an arrangement that looks like this. So that the total of these three numbers, we call that the horizontal sum, is equal to the total of those three numbers. We call that the vertical sum. How can we arrange five consecutive whole numbers so that the horizontal sum is equal to the vertical sum? Obviously, I'm not correct because this adds up to six, whereas that adds up to more than six. How can I rearrange the numbers so that the total of these three is equal to the total of those three. Why don't you give it a try? Let's think of some possible solutions. This is clearly not correct, but if I rearrange it, let's see what I can do. That's still not correct. Is this correct? 2 and 5, 7. 7 and 1, 8. 4 and 3, 7. 7 and 1, 8. That's correct. So that's one possible solution. 2 here. 4 here. 5 here. 3 there. And right in the middle, I have 1. So 1 is in the middle. And the total is 7 and 1, 8. I mean, either way, it's 8. So the total has a value of 8. That's one possibility. Are there other possibilities? Let me try. 2 in the middle. Doesn't seem to work, but three in the middle. Not really. This is correct. One and five, six, six and three. That's nine. Four and two, six, six and three. That's also nine. So this is a correct arrangement with three in the middle and other numbers around it. One and five horizontally, four and two vertically, giving us a total of nine. Are there other possibilities? Well, maybe I will try this. That doesn't seem correct. How about this? Is this okay? 4 and 1, 5 and 5, 10. 2 and 3, 5. 5 and 5, 10. That's correct. With 5 in the middle, giving us a total of 10. And all the other numbers around 5. 2 and 3 horizontally, 4 and 1 vertically. Are there other possibilities? 
why don't you try to figure out if there are other possibilities? And if not, are there interesting patterns that you're able to see? Why don't you try with other consecutive numbers? Instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, why don't you try with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Can I leave that to you? When you're done, you might be able to see some interesting patterns relating the numbers that go in the middle and the total. In particular, are you able to predict if I give you big numbers like 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 without having to try and rearrange the numbers? Are you able to predict what numbers among those would go in the middle? And for each of those, are you able to predict what is the horizontal or vertical total? See you next time.